Kanye Glazers make me so unbelievably angry. I used to be a Kanye Glazer. I was young, naive. I was like, oh, Donda, Donda 2 is the best work of all time. It's totally gonna come out. Oh, I love Jesus is King. I'm not gonna waste any more time, bro. We're gonna start talking about why you need to stop defending vultures, bro. Get your cranberry juice, get your Cheerios, something to snack on. Let's get into it, man. It has now been months of people defending vultures. First of all, Vultures 2 is not even coming out. Vultures 3 is way gone. We were supposed to have all, all, all these albums by the time like April came around. And bro, it's July, bro. We're going into August soon. Not even, not, not soon, but bro, we're going into August eventually. And Kanye hasn't even started the, the rollout for Vultures 2 really. And the little birdie told me that Vultures 2 apparently might not have any swear words bro because Kanye really does not want swear words in it and honestly I think it might be better for it to be clean anyways because Kanye is way way too uncomfortable to listen to now bro like he literally is the creepiest person of all time bro the way he like forms sentences about people is so creepy he's probably in the hall of fame of objectifying women bro and like I'm not even a person who normally trips when I hear like misogyny and music bro because it's so common nowadays like it's really hard to escape it and if I enjoy Future's music then I enjoy Future's music but Kanye doesn't even sound good when he's saying it he's just creepy bro and he's saying so much off the wall stuff and you could tell that he's just trying to say off the wall stuff and it doesn't even come across as like like it doesn't even come across as him because before he'd say off the wall stuff and it'd be like it's kind of funny but now he's just like man like I'm really like shout out Hitler bro like all that like bro you're just weird now like you, you took it too far and I think that he's definitely made so much more of a career out of himself which he doesn't even need to but he's trying to brand himself as somebody who's just trying to say the the most disagreeable thing you could say bro like he just really wants to have a different opinion and 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 people want to have a different opinion and act like this album is fire bro and I get asked a lot why is this album not in your top 10? Because I, I had a video where I talked about my top 10 albums of the year. Bro, he's not even in my top 25 anymore, bro. This album is not good at all. Like, I genuinely dislike this album. There's, like, barely any good music that came out of it. I mean, Burn was a solid song. Carnival was acceptable. Acceptable. Like, I could listen to Carnival. I'm never going to put this on Ox, bro. Like, And I know Chins and Anthony are watching this video right now, but I'm letting you know right now, Carnival is not a slap. Carnival has never been a slap, and and it is not deserved to be a hit. We gotta take, we gotta revoke Kanye's number one hit, bro. Why did we let that go number one on the Billboard Hot 100? Because the TikTok Riz party? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What is this? What is this? I'm yelling into my microphone right now, bro. I'm walking, I'm pacing around my room right now, thinking about how vultures had the success that it did bro i feel like so many people are just clinging on to the last bit of life that kanye west's career has this man needs to retire bro like i'm not gonna lie i kind of like his shoes still like kanye you can still make shoes in my opinion i mean i just got my easy pods in and they're a little bit weird that he has sock shoes but music is not your thing anymore bro like even the production isn't as good as it used to be like i genuinely don't think he's gonna make anything that touches t-lop my beautiful dark Twisted fantasy Jesus graduation, late registration, college dropout, anything that is going to go near any of his older works. And I feel like once you fall off that mountain peak so far, when do you stop making music, bro? When do you stop making music? What good came out of that album, bro? What good came out? He made R. Kelly jokes. He, I'm pretty sure he made P. Diddy jokes on there. He's just out of pocket, bro. And I think he needs to stop. I think we need to stop letting him do stuff. And Ty! Ty Dolla Sign is egging him on, cause Ty Dolla, bro, Ty Dolla Sign is one of the freakiest men I know, bro. I've never heard a freestyle like Ty Dolla Sign's XXL freestyle, bro. And I'm really thankful for it, and I really hope that I never have to hear that again, bro, because Ty Dolla Sign is a, a, an animal, bro. He's a dog. But at the end of the day, bro, my point is, Vultures has been going on for way too long and i'm honestly okay if kanye west retires now unless he comes back with something that's actually like incredible which i don't think he can at this point in his career bro and man it's just it's really rupturing his career the more and more that he drops music like if he stopped that donda i would have been cool with that bro and it's kind of a beautiful thing donda's a beautiful album in my opinion 
just because it was like dedicated to his mother and it had a lot of great songs on there minus the filler bro some of his ideas are just crazy bro like the making people play for the stem player to get down to two bro and the adding 15 part twos on your album is crazy bro to make it two hours long bro the original donda was an hour and 48 minutes donda deluxe is like two hours and 11 minutes bro that's that's just crazy to me but with that being said i love you all very much i'm conflicted and i'm out peace